The victims are sometimes killed, other times disfigured or injured for life. number of our collisions um, that are the fault of the driver, uh, what, we've, what we see is we see a pedestrian who's crossing the street um, and a vehicle will begin to turn right or left and that, that's a large majority of the pedestrian collisions, whether they be um, minor injury or serious injury. But what happens is inside of a vehicle you have what's called the A-pillar and that is this uh, um, connector between the roof and the uh, base of the car that surrounds the windshield. And in every car, they're different. Some are larger, some are smaller. But as you begin to, to make a left-hand turn, if somebody is walking in at the right speed, they will track inside that, in that blind spot, until the point of impact. And we see, time and time again, we have officers that go to these scenes and, and the person says, I never saw them until I hit them. Right. And and same thing happens making right-hand turns. And. Um, I, I can't tell you how many times you know I get to the intersection and I know this having worked in this arena for a while now and I'll just tilt my head from one side to the other and sure enough there's a pedestrian there and I think if, if people would just learn to you know keep their head up look around tilt the head if you're making a turn mm -hmm. that's all it takes just a simple movement and we could reduce probably 25-30% of all of these um, auto pedestrian collisions.